in the middle of March, I did a lecture about Emilio Pujol's 1930 uh, Rio de la Plata tour with his wife Matilda Cuevas. And the fact that she played flamenco for a complete set really disturbed people because they expected classical guitar. It's the first time he had played since 1918. And he was very successful in the, that tour of 1918. Emilio Pujol was said to have the tone closest to his teacher, Francisco Tarraga. I'm going to show you a 1931 BMG magazine, Bangelo Mandolin and Guitar. This is on the uh, opening page. It's published in London. This is from May of 1931. And we see in the second set that his wife played a Granadinas, uh, Soliaris, Guajiras, and a piece called Flamenco. As the tour went from Buenos Aires to the interior cities of Tucumán, Córdoba, Rosario, Santa Fe, people got on the phone and said, well, if you're going to go see Pujol, this time he's, his wife's doing a complete set of flamenco. And so the hotel concerts had smaller and smaller and smaller numbers of attendees. Celestino Fernandez had bankrolled the tour, guaranteeing Pujol a certain amount of money for the contract that he offered him. We see here in 1934 at the Sala Mozart in Barcelona a list of pieces. And had he played this set with his wife, they would have been very successful. I don't think he would have dared to have walked into the Sala Mozart, where all the prestigious guitarists, as well as musicians of other instruments, uh, played, and uh, had had uh, the audacity to play flamenco or if his wife had played one song, that would be it, but to, to put people through 30 minutes of it for a complete set was not something that they uh, considered their cup of tea. In the first set in February 21st of 1934 in Barcelona at the Sala Mozart, he played uh, Dos Pavans by Luis Milan, Gavata by Fran... Uh, Cesco Corbetta, Gallardas and Folius by Gaspar Sanz in the second set. He played a uh, Pasapied Anonymous uh, jig by uh, Silvius Leopoldo Weiss, Minuet by Soar, Prelude and Studio by Tarraga. In the third set, they had the homenage a Debussy by Momol de Faya and uh, Studio Criollo debut piece written by Alphonse Broqua. Fava uh, debut written by Auguste Grau. The Three Tambores, debut harmonization by Emilio Pujol, Guajira Gitana by Emilio Pujol. In the fourth set, they had Minuet de la Sinfonia in B minor by Mozart, Teresina de Jesus by Villa Lobos, Danza Española by Albanese, Intermezzo 
from the Goyecas by Granados, finishing with the Danza de la Vida Breve by Fai, a very beautiful piece. I'm certain they had uh, encores that they provided to the audience's attention. It's just a shame that he didn't have a set like that when he toured in Buenos Aires and other cities of Argentina and Uruguay in the 1930 tour. It was probably the only tour that was a failure financially that ever took place. I can't guarantee that, but I have read nothing else out of all the archives. I have archives from 12 famous people that I used to write my book, The Annotations of the History of Classical Guitar in Argentina, 1822 to 2000. It's a four volume book, weighs 21 pounds for sale for $300, shipping included worldwide. <laughs>